What's up guys, welcome back to Now Loading, the weekly show where we give you the latest game releases for your favorite platforms. I'm your host, Alex Thompson. This week, we take a look at some shards of darkness, spin a little mud on the racetrack, and we go back 10 years to learn about the return of a god. So, let's not waste any time and take a look at our key releases for the week of March 14th. This week starts us off with an action-adventure stealth game that leaves you stuck somewhere in a world like Middle-earth. Let's take a look at Styx Shards of Darkness. The game Shards of Darkness is a sequel in the Styx franchise of games. The game follows Styx, who is forced out of hiding to confront a group of dark elves. These elves have secretly joined up with the dwarfs, and the only mutual belief they have is the hatred for goblins. Use stealth and a variety of items to overcome these forces and help Styx escape. You can pick up this beautiful Unreal Engine 4 game this week on March 14th for the PC, PS4, and Xbox One consoles. Like I said, this game looks great and might be one of those surprise sleepers for underground fans. My next game has me a little surprised, but I figured I would throw some variety in here with the ATV Renegades. Throw on some boots and let's hit the track. This nitro-filled racing game allows players to race ATVs all over the world in jam-packed races that are sure to provide hours of fun. These games don't usually become popular, but are great for parties and groups of friends. With over 24 challenging courses and a variety of epic jumps, this game sure has the vibe for a lot of replay. Be sure to pick up your copy of ATV Renegades this week for the PS4 and Xbox One. So. It was only 10 years ago we saw the rise of one of the best sequels to ever hit the PS2. It was a revolutionary time for video games, and this hack and slash left the video game community wanting more. God of War 2 set the standard for video games in 2007. With the PlayStation starting to dip in its lifespan, out of nowhere we saw the release of the sequel to God of War. This game was exclusive to the PS2 and left a lot of Xbox fans behind in the dust. The unique style of Kratos and the way you use button commands to take down giant monsters just feels so right. In some instances, I felt like I actually was the God of War. So, who's going to stop me? Certainly not Zeus. I loved playing this game with friends in high school, and when the sequel was announced, the lunch table at school became a lot more chatty. This game is 10 years old this week, but it only feels like yesterday my buddies and me were unwrapping the plastic. Well, that concludes this episode of Now Loading. What are your thoughts on this week's releases? What are you waiting to play? We want to hear from you, so give us your thoughts in the comments below. And remember to check out popnerdtv.com for the latest gaming news and updates. Thanks for joining us on Now Loading. I'm your host, Alex Thompson. We will see you next week.